in a place in a in a nursing home they cannot even walk they can't even walk 20 yards they get short of breath because heart muscles is gone and they need a lot of help so they definitely need uh, long term care right so we have a, something called critical care illness will cover this if they do get a heart attack depending on what kind of heart attack they'll advance some money so you got to let them know too that's one of our benefits number 2 is cancer cancer you know a lot of people are dying with cancer cancer when you find cancer it's too late it's too late they're stage four they are pretty much in treatment and as soon as they try start treatment you know mostly within a year they pass away right so if you have this guys we can give this money they accelerated right now 100 percent i think 1.5 million is the maximum but they could take this money and they could go for treatment so i don't know if you guys know those cancer injections rich right Hilda are very expensive you know why they're expensive insurance is not going to cover them there's the insurance that's called a formally and non-formally non-formally prescription is not covered it comes out of pocket each injection is cost you like 10 grand you need 10 shots hundred thousand dollars where's that money going to come from right you got to tell them pancreatic cancer is the fastest killing cancer in america six months right matt and Sheila, these are the things that you have to tell people right tell them tell the facts and they'll know right one of my good friends uh, she got the policy she's in her late 50s and her brother at age 41 was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer right guess what as soon as they start treatment in eight months he passed away he had a printing press he sold his printing press married with one kid right a daughter they were fighting because the money was a problem right then i asked my friend what does your brother want to do he just want to go to mexico and just live right but they didn't have money they had to sell the printing price but the best part Hilda, they did not have any coverage. They didn't have coverage. So sad apart because they couldn't even protect their business, right? She got the coverage. She goes, man, I never thought about my brother. I thought he was young. He's going to be important. You get this accident. You guys already know what happened to Kobe Bryant, right? So you guys always get that story about Kobe Bryant. Number four is uh, chronic respiratory infection, right? Lower respiratory. This is like pneumonia. Uh, this is a lot of COVID patients are dying right now. Uh, they get sick, uh, and they, the people, they, they don't hydrate themselves, they don't eat properly, they sleep, and they get pneumonia, they go to the hospital with COVID diagnosis, we put, it, we put them on a, uh, we tube them on a, in a respiratory, and eventually they're going to pass away with sepsis, right? So if COVID patient has this, right now, perfect. If you guys have it, you guys are good. I see there's 152 people here. If you guys don't have it, guys, please get it. Please get it. Get a small one, whatever you can afford, you go ahead and get one. If you guys are doing the business, you guys definitely have to own the product, join, own, share. If not, it's hard for you guys to do the business if you guys don't own it. So first, help yourself before you go help other people, right? Number five is very important because this is what I saw. Most of the Americans, middle class Americans, because the high stress job, poor diet, sedentary lifestyle, they're perfect combination for a stroke. Right, stroke kills massive. Every 40 seconds, somebody's having a stroke in America. Right, so these are very important because once you get these guys, you won't qualify. It's too late. Right, Alzheimer's disease is another one. So you know, with our uh, LTC, it's called cognitive impairment. Right, so you don't need to qualify for the six ADLs with cognitive impair impairment. You're automatically qualified for Alzheimer's dementia. So you guys will let them know. Oh, your mom and dad have Alzheimer's and dementia great you should be getting this because you know what you don't have that diagnosis you most probably might get it but if you do have this guess what it's covered you could go to alzheimer's center i think we have like a couple of four, uh, four caregivers who work for the alzheimer's center in my team they pay average of part uh, 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 a semi-private room between four to five thousand dollars a month so that means you need sixty thousand alzheimer's is not a disease that's going to kill you you're going to live longer right so so for that you need cash so if you have ltc guys alzheimer's unit they will love us they definitely give you a room right and you, you could take care of your family's been taken care of on this it's hard to keep an alzheimer's patient a dementia dementia patient at home guess what it's a 24 hour supervision or care that means you're not going to go to work or you can get a caregiver even you might work that there, there goes all your money so if your parents if your parents you if you guys have parents get a get a get them a coverage that's going to save you a lot of money later. A lot of headache and money you'll save, right? Diabetes is another big thing. Diabetes is not going to kill you right away, but it will make you disabled. 
dialysis is not fun. Three days a week, that's like a part-time job. My good friend played rugby with me, and that's the guy who came and picked me up when I first came to America in 1991. He came and picked me up. Uh, he's a sh he was a chef. Guess what? At age 53, lives diabetic. He lost his leg. He's on dialysis. He got two kids and a wife, and they're like barely surviving. Right? It's why it's very important. Diabetes will definitely get you. Right? So you got to have to show the people the important of LTC. Right? These will these seven leading cause death is going to be a roadback for your financial growth or for your for your pretty much uh, that's one's going to stop you. So if you get some kind of coverage this and you're protected, you're protected. So always protect health, you protect wealth. Right? This slide is very important, guys. Don't wait; it'll be too late, right? So this is this slide I show you because I think uh, Liz kind of showed this slide too. If you look at it, you know there is four stages, like how Liz explained, right? Every stage has only eight thousand days. Every stage is eight thousand days. So when you guys retire, you guys got only eight thousand days, right? So on this stage, where are you guys at? The younger the stage, the better the coverage. So don't wait. The older the stage, you, you're, you're like gambling. You might get covered. You might not get covered. Right? So you got to understand this and show your client, where are you at? You're here. Get it right now before you go, get there. It's before, before it gets too late. Right? Show this picture and tell them, hey, I showed this. Where do you like, where, where, do, where, where are you at? Right? If you don't have this coverage, get it. If, you're not, if, you, if you don't get this coverage, you're exposed. And then peace of mind, guys. Is priceless. So if they do get some kind of coverage, they have peace of mind, right? So when I got this coverage in 2013, even though I worked for Medical, I did not know about product or service. Thank God for WSG. I came. Knowledge is power. Learn from the best, from the love city, and also from all the providers. Your job, guys, to attend a meeting and learn. The more you learn, the more you're going to help your clients. The more you don't show up for meetings, uh, meetings, and not going to product provider meetings you're not going to service your client that well so your job is to go and learn be proactive you're you're a registered agent so be a, be proactive and take ownership and go and learn don't wait till you're applying to call and tell hey there's a meeting right now to show up right your job is to do that right and go help clients is this helpful guys is it good i don't know how much minute do i have here all right let me wrap this up fast now the next one is pretty much understanding rollovers right so, when I sit with clients, after you do a presentation, um, after you do a presentation, when the client come to my office, right, so these are the people, once you do a great financial analysis, I know Liz showed that, when you see this client have got 100,000, 200, 700, a million dollars in their 401k, I tell client, come here, let me show you, let me understand your options, right? You're retired right now, yes, I see that you got half a million do dollars, Mr. Client, yes. So how long did it take for you to make this money? They'll say, oh, Riaz, it took me 30 years to do. Okay, 30 years is a lot of years. And for them, is 100 or 25,000 or 100,000 is a lot of money for them, right? Because they, they save this money for such a long time, right? I said, here's your options, right? Number one option, you could take a half a million dollars and you could go to the bank. You could go open a money market, CD, fixed account, right? It's very safe. But let me talk about inflation to you. Inflation is 3 to 4%. You know what? Your money is going to be safe. But looks like, you know, I asked them how long you're going to think you're going to live. I'm going to live for another 20 years, which is 8,000 days. Great. Well, you're going to, your money is going to be safe, but you're going to go broke safely. How so? Because of inflation. Okay, that's one of your options if you choose to do it. Your second option is you could take that 500,000 and you could go to a broker, brokerage, right? You could go to Fidelity or uh, one of those... Uh, companies and you could put your money to your mutual fund stock or you could open a variable annuity right but listen with that here's the pros and cons you can get high return and ask your risk right i said now you're in your age that what do you need the most oh i want to make sure my money is growing and also i want protection right so this one is going on a roller coaster you're older you like roller coasters no i don't want to go on a roller coaster because my back is going to hurt Exactly. So this one here, your back is going to hurt, right? So this is another option. But if you're willing to take 10 to 20 percent loss, if you're okay with that, that's the other option, right? So let me show you another option. Since you said that you want your money to be protected and also grow, there's another 
account that I could show you. This is the insurance company has this, right? These are called fixed index annuity, FIA. So, so at the beginning, I said there's an account. So at the beginning, guy, you guys had to show them the value, educate them, right? Educate them about that. Most of people, when you talk about, when they say annuity, they shut down. They shut down because people have listened, annuity is bad. Uh, there are people on the news, uh, on talk shows talking about annuity is bad. Then I asked them, okay, great. You said annuity is bad. Which type of annuity, annuity are you talking about? Tell me. There are there are so many different annuity. Yeah, some annuities are bad and some annuities are awesome, right? So which one are you talking about? Oh, I don't know. Okay, let me educate about annuity. There are three types of annuity. There is fix, right? Just like the bank, you're not going to make any money. You're going to be okay, right? But you go broke safely. There is variable. It's good, but it's going to go up and down just like the stock market. There's another one probably nobody talks about it called fixed index annuity. It's something new. It's out there called a hybrid account, right? How does this work? You put your money there, your money is protected, your money goes up, and you also you don't have to pay fees on this. You like it? Yes, I like it. Can I learn more? Fine. So you educate your client more, right? So always put, my when I do my presentation, guys, I did make it very simple, right? You got to have to put happy face and sad face. Use that. Because they want to see happy face and sad face. Happy, sad, sad, happy. Okay, I want your thumbs up. Okay, perfect, right? Now I say, let me educate more. So when I come here, I tell them, okay, the next slide is this. I say, this is what the market has done. Gary, Monina, this is the, this is what the stock market has done from 1950 to 2016, right? Which one do you guys like? Do you guys like the red or do you guys like the green, right? Oh, you know what? Great. I like the, I like the green. Perfect. So on, on our, in our strategy, you don't participate on the red. Would you guys, do you guys like it? Also, you put your money with insurance companies. Insurance companies are very conservative. A lot of wealthy people put money there, James. A lot of people put money on uh, insurance companies. That's why the wealthy people love insurance companies because it's very well protected and very well highly regulated. Okay, Avi. Yes, that's great. So that's that means I like all the green. So what you guys doing is you're educating them, showing them concept. Now they already know you gave them three options. Only thing they have to pay. Slides, you are pretty much closing them. You're asking, hey, um, Hilda, hey, uh, uh, do you agree, Hilda? Uh, you, you told me that you want principal protection and growth. Yes, I like that. Yeah, this is your, one of your options, right? Next one is you show this. I say, guys, look at this. These are telltale signs, right? So this, imagine, in 1996, you had... Uh, let's say you had 600,000, right? And then let's say you're ready to retire in uh, 1999. And now you had 1.5 million uh, ready to retire. Guess what? You got bad advice from your friends, from your other co-workers, and they told you, you know what? Stay in the market and you're going to make another 10%. And guess what happened? You lost almost 50%. So you had 1.5 million ready to retire. Now you have only 700,000. 700, How do you feel right now? Bad, bad advice, right? Then it's okay. Then you know what? You did not retire. Guess what? You waited for another five years. The market went all the way up to 1.5 million. Ready to retire, but it just got greedy again, right? And guess what happened, Arvin? Market crashed again. You're back to 600,000. Now, from 2008 to now, this is the one of the best bull runs ever. The market has gone 378%, guys. That's a lot of money, right? So I could tell, hey, I, if I bring my six-year-old kid, if I told them to see this slide, they're going to predict what's coming next. And it already happened in month of March. You lost 30% right there, right? So you got to show them this. If they're ready to go on the roller coaster, they're okay. Most of the time, they'll say, no, yes, I made my run. I'm good. I want to protect my money. I want to put that. So let me tell you a couple of stories. I had a friend. I moved uh, my friend's money. She was a nurse practitioner. Uh, I moved her money in 2014, uh, Gary. I moved, uh, she had 150,000, she worked for Kaiser. I moved that money, now that money for the last uh, 2015, for the last five years, she has 205,000, Munina, right? Her husband was a big shot guy at uh, at BMW. He was a, like a servicing manager. He had his, he was listening to the presentation, but he had advisors. He had like five different companies, five different companies and he had like advisors putting money and two one of the company was a uh, prime america as well right uh, so he came uh, to visit me probably uh, somewhere in march so my friend calls me here listen he wants to come and talk to you 
He had 1.2 million. Now he has $850,000. He has a lot, a lot of money. He's so upset with his advisors. We are, can you help him? So he comes, he sits with me. I looked at it and I said, I did the same presentation. I said, did the same presentation in Oriyas. I should have listened to you when you came at that time. You know, I didn't know why I didn't listen to you. Look, I am at now 64 years old, man. I lost from 1.2 million to 850 is almost like, man, $350,000 we lost, right? He goes, what do I need to do to move this money now? I don't want to lose any more money. I said, let's stop the bleed. Let's take this money and we move this money to one of our index annuities, right? After we move the market drop another 5%, but right now the market is protected. He put his money in. Now, since then, the market has already gone up. Guess what? He's already made money, if you, if you think about it. Right? Market has recovered another 15 to 20%, and this guy's already made money. He doesn't have to worry about it. If the second uh, COVID surge comes in, you know the market is going to drop another 20%. I tell you, you think this is big? Wait, wait till the surge comes in, and the more people are going to come. Market is going to go up probably another 20 to 30%. Then it's too late. So it's recovered, moved. So we moved actually within 45 days. Close to 2.5 million we moved. People came, but remember, all this presentation was done not this year. This was done before, long time ago. So when you guys do your presentation, guys, show value. Probably they might not move at that particular time, but they will come looking for you after two to three years. But make sure you guys are in the business. Do not quit, right? It's very important that you don't quit. Um, so that's that's my story. That's what we have done. A lot of rollovers, right? So I tell people, listen. I have protected your money, right? And I have protected your health, right? Another one thing you have to protect is the asset, go get a living trust. So my job is done. So you're protected, you got peace of mind, and your job is to do, if you love my services, please give me some referrals. You can refer me. I sat with you, probably I spent almost like two to three days sitting with you and doing all this explanation. Education is the key. You show them the value, they will buy. That's, that's pretty much of my presentation, guys. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I gave a lot of nuggets. I know my time is running out. I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm, I guess I'm done. AG, thank you so much for inviting me, and I hope uh, this helped your team.